Welcome to a continuing, uh, no, it's not really a winemaker series, this is just kind of information for fun stuff. And I want to talk to you about sediment because we have a gorgeous 2005 Petite Syrah from Opolo this month in the Classic Series. And it has sediment, it has a lot of sediment actually, because it's a very extracted wine and it's, uh, it's well made. In fact, here's Janice Robinson, Robinson, uh, the Oxford Companion to Wine, and it's a great glossary of wine things. And here's what it says about sediment. Sediments in bottled wines are relatively rare and usually a sign or signal of fine wine that has been already spent time in the bottle. So it's an aged wine typically, and of course this is a 2005. So unaccustomed to having uh, modern wine consumers uh, become to sediment erroneously, uh, view it as a fault, and it's not, it's not a fault, because it means that the wine was extracted, and what's happening lately is that the winemakers are making wines cleaner and cleaner and cleaner, because they are opened earlier and earlier, in fact, 90% of all wine is opened in the first 12 months that it's bottled, that we never even see sediment. So, this is a great opportunity to taste a great wine, so I want to teach you how to decant. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this with this wonderful uh, Metro Cane foil remover. And notice on your bottle of Opolo is a nice yellow sticky and we put a sort of instructions about decanting on there. And now I'm going to do something really fun. And by the way, all these things are available on our website, the Rabbit. Now this is not cheating. Okay, I open a lot of wine. In fact, on Tuesdays, I open nearly 100 wines sometimes, and it's, uh, it takes a lot of work. And here the wine, uh, the cork will extract itself. And to take a look at the cork, look how gorgeous the color is on the bottom of this cork. I mean, it's really dense. Okay, so we want a light source uh, for uh, decanting. Uh, you can use a tea candle. You can use one of these things right here. I mean, this is great, right? Ah, just kidding around. Just messing around with you. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, make sure you smell your decanter that uh, it's clean because it's just like a wine glass. You want to make sure that the, there's nothing imparted on the wine as you uh, pour it in the decanter. And you want to light the candle or use a little LED light. Uh, anything will work. And you want to position the candle or the light source under the neck of the wine bottle. And by the way, the wine should be upright for 48 hours or 24 hours anyway, so that the, whatever sediment is in the wine that's still free floating gets to the bottom. And we're going to tilt the decanter just like so. And we're going to tilt the uh, uh, neck of the wine bottle right over the the, uh, the candle and we're going to slowly pour and when we start to see and we kind of want to be on top of this when we start to see the sediment filter through and come through the neck through the light source that is when we want to stop pouring and typically that's going to be about two inches of wine at the bottom and we should end up with nice clear decanted wine in our decanter so all right that's the way it should be done. Now, there's another way you could do it. That's the, tr I'm not should we, that's the traditional way. Uh, the new Venturi, which we have in stock, uh, comes with a nice filter. So if you can just, you can just stick that on there. And if you want to filter the wine that way, you can just pour it through. And that should catch most of your sediment. It also aerates the wine at the same time. And so that's an opportunity. Uh, all these devices are on our website. Uh, the decanter, the Bormula decanter is $49.95. The Venturi, uh, with the filter is $39.95, and the Rabbit corkscrew uh, is um, $45.95. But if you use the promo code DECANT, DECANT, I can, I can't, uh, you'll get 10% off all those. And that'll go through, uh, let's say, September 30th, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching, and that's how you decant the wine. If you have any questions, email me, paul at womclub.com, and uh, hey.